The European Union must abandon its policy of sanctioning Russia for its war in Ukraine or risk causing an economic collapse, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban told State Radio on Friday. The EU has imposed several rounds of sanctions against Moscow since Russian President Vladimir Putin launched the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, targeting the energy sector, banks, the world's biggest diamond mining company and other businesses. Orban, widely seen as having the warmest relations with the Kremlin in the EU, has broken with the majority of European leaders and vocally opposed such sanctions, arguing they did more to damage European economies than they did Russia's. The Hungarian leader on Friday said the EU's sanction regime should be reviewed, because with such a policy of sanctions, energy prices will not come down. It will be painful for those who argued for sanctions. Not for us, because we will see this as a victory, but the other camp has to change because otherwise it will destroy the European economy, he said. Hungary currently holds the six-month rotating presidency of the EU, and has de-emphasized retaliatory measures against Russia in that role. EU leaders, however, are making plans to impose a new round of penalties against Moscow. On Thursday, the European Parliament adopted a resolution demanding the EU step up against Russia's so-called shadow fleet, ships that export Russian oil in violation of sanctions. The legislature also wants the bloc to ban the import of Russian fossil fuels. Orban opposes such a ban, and has leveraged exceptions from the EU during previous rounds of sanctions that allowed landlocked Hungary to continue importing Russian oil and gas, which he argues are essential to sustaining Hungary's economy. The Hungarian leader last week predicted that President-elect Donald Trump would pull US support for Ukraine in its war against Russia. A Trump presidency, Orban has argued, will revive Hungary's sputtering economy, now in a technical recession. The pro-peace presidential candidate won, and now we are waiting for peace, Orban said Friday. Correspondent Bjorn Stridzel, who visited Ukrainian positions near the city of Tarets, says the Ukraine has recently introduced the use of massive 2S7 Pion self-propelled artillery system into its armed forces, according to BUILD. Taretsk, a Ukrainian stronghold, since Russia's first invasion of Donbass in 2014 is a strategically important settlement. Control of the city would give Russian forces a foothold to advance further into Ukrainian-held territory in Donetsk Oblast, a key objective in their military campaign. A 2S7 Pion self-propelled artillery system weighs 60 tons and has a 12-meter barrel. This is the heaviest operational cannon in the world. It was developed by the USSR in the 1960s for destroying concrete fortifications of the enemy. The Pion requires 203mm calibre projectiles, each weighing 100 kilograms. The publication notes that by spring 2022, the Ukrainian forces had quickly depleted their Soviet-supplied ammunition stockpiles, which led to the withdrawal of these self-propelled artillery systems from the front line. Recently, the US provided the necessary projectiles. The US had produced them in the 1950s and 60s for their M110 and M115 howitzers. The 2S7 Pion main armament consists of a 2A44 203mm cannon. The 203mm barrel has an overall length of 56.5 calibers and weighs a total of 7,800 kilograms and has a barrel life of about 450 rounds. When traveling, the 203mm cannon is held in position by a manually operated travel lock mounted on top of the cab. Gun elevation, traverse, loading and operation of the spade are all hydraulic with manual controls for emergency use. Mounted at the very rear of the tracked chassis is a large recoil spade that, when lowered to the ground, provides stability during firing. The gun operator is seated at the rear of the vehicle on the left side and for the engagement of targets has a standard PG-1M panoramic day telescope that is used in conjunction with the K-1 collimator. Ammunition is of the separate loading type, projectile and charge with a maximum muzzle velocity of 960 M stroke S. The maximum range using unassisted ammunition is 37.5 kilometers. The standard 203mm HE round is designated ZOF 43 and weighs 110 kilograms.
with a total of four projectiles and charges being carried on the 2S7 for immediate use. The remainder of the ammunition load is carried by another vehicle, usually a truck. In addition, there is a rocket-assisted high-explosive projectile that weighs 103 kilograms and has a maximum range of 47,500 M. The 2S7 is also able to fire chemical and nuclear shells. On the turret's front, Ukrainian artillery personnel fire the Pion even before receiving the order to shoot. The Pion must reach its operating temperature, explained Ukrainian officer Rostislav. Once the order is given, the artillery units quickly emerge from their shelter and position the Pion on the firing point. The retractable spade is deployed, pressing into the ground to absorb the powerful recoil. When the Pion fires, the earth around shakes. Strixel noted, 